Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting beer review and another pills from um, Eastern Germany this time from uh, Saxony, the town uh, Görlitz. Uh, those of you who know your uh, German geography know that uh, Görlitz is a town of the uh, just absolute to the border of Poland. Uh, so it's the absolutely most uh, eastern part of Germany, not possible to come more east than this. Uh, and uh, also this brewery, uh, which this beer is coming from, is known as the most eastern brewery in Germany. That's kind of their uh, slogan or what you can call it. So it's from the uh, appeals from the Landskron Brauerei and it's quite um, popular beer, actually quite a uh, large brewery, uh, probably in the northern um, northern Germany, uh, Landskron Brauerei or Landskron Beer Manufaktur, which uh, they call themselves, and it's their Pilsner, their Premium Pilsner. Looks like this, very classical looking with the blue, gold, and white. Uh, real classical color combination, also classical bowl shape for the um, North German Pilsners. You know, this is, com this is coming from the East uh, Germany. It's got a classical uh, North German Pils look of the bottle, in my opinion. Show you the top cap there, too, as well. Uh, Premium Pilsner, süffisch und feinmalzig. Helle golden und mit sanigem Schaum, süffisch und feinmalzig. Aus besten Zutaten in der privaten Landskron Braumanufaktur im schönen Görlitz gebraut. Getreu dem deutschen Reinheitsgebot von 1516. 1869, 2019, 150 Jahre. That's what it says here on the bottle, so 150 years old brewery. Started in 1869. Landskron immer ein Genuss Premium Pilsner, süffisch und feinmalzig. Alkohol 4.8 ABV. Traditionell im offenen Gärverfahren verfahren gebraut. Erleben Sie unser echtes Görlitzer Brauhandwerk. Uh, what does it say here? Zutaten Brauwasser, Gerstenmalz, Hopfen. Hopfen Auszüge gebraut nach dem deutschen Reinheitsgebot. Uh, so the um, text of the ingredient list is uh, on both German and Polish, no other countries, because it's just at, at the border to Poland, absolutely at the border. Uh, Landskron Braumanufaktur Görlitz, uh, Dr. Lobeck GmbH and Company KG. An der Landskron Brauerei 116 Görlitz Landskron DE. It is linked to the brewer's website and I'll link to, to it in the description box below as always. 4.8 ABV as I mentioned. Um, yeah, classical looking North German style of the bottle. I do have another beer from this brewery which I'm gonna try in the future. So I'm gonna show you that bottle. It's their Goldbock. Looks like this. Gonna be quite interesting to try that also, but that's we'll keep it right there. Um, this uh, at the moment, I'm gonna of course speak a little bit about the uh, the brewery. Behind all this, the brick walls of the Landskron Brewery, founded in 1869, the charming Neusäufer uh, Brewing is still carried out according to the traditional handcraft methods and with open handmade fermentation. The good Landskron beer is stored underground in 12 meter deep value vaulted cellars much longer than usual uh, in order to mature between 6 and 12 weeks depending on type of beer. This quality claim is confirmed by the annual awards of the DLG, which is the uh, German Agricultural Society. On June 18, 1869, noble Görlitz beer lovers drew around the doctor uh, Klefeld signed a partnership agreement for the construction of the Görlitz Share Brewery, uh, which is of course Görlitz Aktien uh, Brauerei. Uh, the company started with hope and verb and lived through two centuries of change, but basically nothing much has changed since then. 
and the red brick walls of the banks of the um, of the uh, Neusteufel uh, in uh, Görlitz. Uh, the main brands Landstrom, Pilsner, Hill, Mai and Goldbach and uh, Lausitzel Kindl are still brewed using traditional methods and with open fermentation. The black brewing specialty Pupen, Schulzes, Schwarzes and Landskron Radler complete the range. But even the outer appearance of Germany's easternmost brewery is, has hardly changed after two centuries. Uh, it is now one of the oldest producing industrial monuments in Germany. The uh, brewery is a meeting point in the social and cultural life of Görlitz and its surroundings. The Landskron Kulturbrauerei was built in 1872 as the first large restoration building with inviting colonnades for uh, Görlitz. The ballroom accommodated uh, 1,000 people and up to 3,000 people could be uh, catered uh, for the garden. And even today the Kulturbrauerei attracts 30,000 visitors a year with numerous events. The Landskron Kulturbrauerei is one of the trendiest live locations in the region. Whether star, reggae, dark wave or rock as indoor or open air, everyone gets their money for worth here. Artists like Nenan, Joachim Witt, Karat, City, Münchner, Freiheit, Mutabor, Laurel, Aitgen, Anne, Clark and many others brought the Landskron Festhalle to a boil. At the parties you can dance until the we um, hours while enjoying land, cool Landskron and sipping delicious cocktails. Furthermore, more than uh, 15,000 visitors annually take the opportunity to visit the brewery. After the brewery tour, freshly tapped Landskron is made available for tasting in a cozy atmosphere. The annual highlights in the Landskron Braufest in June, the doors of the brewery here for the whole family. Uh, the brewery lives and uh, lets us enjoy the Brau art with all senses. The people of the region obviously feel attached to their beer. It is not only true that the beer needs a home, but also that home needs its beer. The Lausitz found it with their Landskron. Uh, some more about the um, the history of the uh, about this brewery right now. The uh, Landskron Brewing Factory Görlitz Dr. Lobeck GmbH and Company KG is a brewery in Görlitz which was founded in 1869 and employs 70 people. It is one of the oldest producing industrial monuments in Germany. The beer matures in 12 meter deep cellars for 40 days longer than usual. These fermentation rooms from 1869 are listed buildings. Görlitz, Görlitz is um, the uh, most eastern city in Germany, which is why the Landskron Brewery advertised for a long time with their slogan the easternmost brewery in Germany. However, since a home brewery was founded just a few meters east of the Neisse, this uh, title was lost in 2006. The brewery is located on the vineyard, uh, on the Weinberg Gelände, uh, western valley of the uh, Lausitz uh, Neisse. The rocky um, slopes of Neisse uh, were originally almost bare, but have been restored for over the years. Uh, this created a very deciduous forest. The name of the brewery is derived from Görlitz Landmark, the state crown. This is the highest point in the city. In 1869, the Görlitz uh, Aktienbauer had an output of 27,000 hectoliters. In 1882, the name Landskron beer was protected by patent. Three years later, in 1885, Bayer received a gold medal at the Trade and Industrial Exhibition. In 1908, uh, 100,000 hectoliters of, uh, were produced for the first time. From 1928 to 1946, Walter Schello headed the company from which the stylist L uh, on the label also came. A state participation took place in 1959 at the Landskron Brewery Schello and Company KG. In 1972, the brewery was completely nationalized and run as a state-owned company. In 1988, the brewery had the highest output since its foundation with 541,000 hectoliters. From 1991, the brewing was carried uh, out according to the German Pure Law. In 1992, the Schello family took over the company again. The company has been... Uh, part of the Holsten Group since uh, the beginning of 2003. Rolf Lobeck led the company to his family business in July 
2006. The managing director was Manfred Ten Bosch um, from uh, 2015 until his death in January 2017. Current managing directors are Uwe Kulo, uh, Marketing and Sales, and Matthias Grall, First Master Brewer. The annual production is 150,000 hectoliters. And about this specific beer, the Landskron Premium Pilsner, it is uh, possible to read the following from their website. Um, this uh, pale golden classic with creamy foam taste and fine malty, fresh hoppy citrus and herbal scents with resinous hints and a nutty aroma notes meet a clear slightly bitter hops bitterness. Color bright straw yellow, very dense and fine poured foam, glossy appearance. Taste fresh hoppy citrus and herbal scent with the resinous notes and not the aroma notes. Slim and elegant in the trunk, clear bitter tart bitterness. Conclusion quick dry finish encourages further drinking. Of course, that's something that I uh, feel very much is something that I, uh, I guess I'm gonna like. Sounds good in every way. Typical um, North German style pills, I, uh, I suppose, as you, um, as you might know if you know uh, German beer culture, North Germany has their Pilsners, which is most popular and, and loved in uh, North Germany. Um, and uh, I think also Saxony belongs to this group, where uh, Pilsners is the most uh, loved beer style. Uh, so, uh, time for the Landskron Pilsner, Landskron Premium Pils from the Landskron uh, Brau Manufaktur located in Görlitz in Saxony uh, at the uh, border of Poland. Uh, I'm gonna open up this one right now to, uh, to try the Landskron Premium Pilsner. We have it, the uh, Landskron Pilsner, get a nice two finger foam head right there, compact white foam head, always important on pills. See the very, very, see if I can show it closer to you. Um, all the small bubbles rises up, you can see that, really, really, really nice, beautiful, beautiful color of it. Of course, beautiful, just the way a pills should look with this pale yellow, easy to see through color. Um, white compact head. Just really, really screams high quality of this one, in my opinion. And um, I'm really, I'm absolutely sure I'm gonna like this very much. It's never wrong time for high class, high uh, quality classical German pills, in my opinion. This one is really, really looking nice. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, fresh, really fresh. And um, the hops taste, hops bitterness is of course uh, appearing quite easy as it is a German pils. You know, German pils is a little bit more strong in the hops bitterness appearance comparing to the, the Czech ones. Uh, this is real high quality on the raw materials also as always in Germany care so much about the, the raw materials and doing it the uh, craftsmanship regarding the brewing process also absolutely the best they care so much about it doing the traditional way absolutely the, the way that I like this old nice brewers really really fresh and nice absolutely uh, just the way I, I want um, a pills and of course, I want the pills to be to be German, just as all the beers they drink. This one is really, really um, fresh and nice, high quality and the aroma, really nice pills. Uh, so let's see if it tastes as good as uh, the aroma is. Prost.
really nice. Of course, really, really easy to drink. And you got a nice hops bitterness in it, just the way yeah, you would expect from uh, from a German Pils. Uh, really, really pleasant. Um, something uh, special. Um, really easy to drink. It really, really makes you want to have more. Uh, of course, high quality of the raw materials. Um, yeah, this this easy to drinkness is something that really is um, what I'm returning to when describing um, how it tastes, in my opinion, um, because it's definitely not not as uh, strong as, the, for example, a Yever. Uh, regarding the hops bitterness, I, of course not because no, no beer is as uh, strong in the hops bitterness as ever. Um, but real well balanced, well balanced uh, Forbier Pilsner. Uh, so uh, this one is really nice, definitely a recommendation. Um, we maybe put it in the in the class of many other of the. Uh, uh, big German Pilsners in Germany, um, like you know, um, Hasselrod or Veltins, um, Bitburger, Becks, Flensburger, um, all of those kind of uh, big German Pilsners. Um, yeah, oh, this one is nice actually. Definitely a, a recommendation to try if you're into uh, trying German Pilsners. This one is a, a good choice, actually. So well done from Saxony, Saxon, as it's called in Germany, um, the absolute most eastern Germany. So um, I'm an, um, I'm open about all German beer types and all German parts, um, like geographically in uh, German. Um, might be that I'm drinking more beers from Bavaria comparing to other parts in Germany since uh, Bavaria might be in my opinion the home of beers basically uh, and the beers that I like of course since I like the high quality the traditional ones um, so there's no reason for me to step away from from the German beers at all uh, because I've been finding what I like um, and I could uh, try different German beers, traditional ones, every day for the rest of my life with no problem. There is, I would still not be far to, to uh, try them all. This one, is, uh, this one is nice, as I said, I look forward to try the Goldberg too, so let's take the rest, post. Really easy, nice, nice taste of it. Um, yeah, the um, Landskron Premium Pilsner is great beer, uh, great pills. Recommendation for me, of course. Um, also show you the the um, logo right there. One hundred fifty years Landskron Premium Pilsner from Görlitz in uh, Saxony, uh, started in 1869. <clears throat> it's a nice one, of course. I think that's it for now. Hope you like my reviews, continue to follow my channel, and uh, look forward to my next peer review, of course, where I hope to see you. So with that said, see you in the next German beer review.